Hello, and welcome to the Beginner's Guide to Gamification, episode number one. This is Yukai Chow, and I'm excited to get the game started. This is the first of 90 sessions where I talk to you about gamification. What is it? What are the benefits of it? How to analyze gamification through a framework called Octalysis, and how to apply it into actual items. The goal for this guide is to help you, whether it's your product, your company, your workplace, or just your lifestyle, become a lot more fun and a lot more productive using gamification principles. There's also a little hidden agenda for me, a hidden goal, uh, to lose 25 pounds before the end of the program. Let's see if we can do it. Ooh, this is a plan. Amazing. I know magic. So, what are my qualifications, you ask? Well, I am a serial entrepreneur as well as speaker for many places like Stanford University and Google in on gamification, social media, and entrepreneurship. Um, I started three companies in the past uh, in which two to three are completely focused on gamification. And I really started gamification in about 2003. So um, back then, of course, it wasn't called gamification, and I was one of the early pioneers for that. Right now, I'm a co-founder of RewardMe, which goal is to bring gamification into offline stores and loyalty programs. I raised a little over a million dollars for this company, and it was rated on Always On as one of the top 10 uh, private companies to watch. We were also rated top 3 commercial app by the first location-based service awards. I'm also an advisor at many education and gaming companies, such as Loki Studios, uh, Mixerbox, um, um, balance entertainment and the like. I'm also a consultant for many places. So I am uh, completely passionate about gamification. I do have a lot of experience. Again, I'm one of the earliest pioneers in the field and uh, hopefully I get to uh, share some useful experiences and some insights and you guys can uh, have fun at the same time. Yeah! So what is gamification? Gamification is the craft of using game mechanics the elements that make game fun and put them into real-world productive activities. Doggy! Games have the amazing ability to encourage and motivate people's behavior, sometimes even making things very addicting. Now the problem with most games is that it's not very productive. You know, you could spend hundreds and thousands of hours playing a game and afterwards you, you feel pumped and excited but you kind of just waste your life, you know, nothing's done, especially when you quit the game, everything's kind of lost, right? That's kind of sucks. Zip out of the boardroom! I think that is what happens when people tell you your fly is down. I used to be a very heavy gamer. I used to play a ton of games, and very competitive, I was hardcore, I spent many of my waking hours strategizing how to play better, refining my skills, but then at the end of the day, when I quit, I realized, hey, you know, I've spent a thousand hours on this one game. If I spend that a thousand hours on learning a new language or playing the violin or anything, I could really get myself to a whole new level. And so that gave me the inspiration uh, back in 2003 to really start digging heavily into the theme of gamification. The Ozone Thai Restaurant and Lounge the zone to show your old face. Now imagine if you could take all the fun and addicting, motivating elements in a game and combine that with actually productive activities in the real world, like learning a new language, like playing a new instrument, like getting your job done, like building a better product. Wouldn't that be amazing? That, my friend, is the core of gamification. You know the water is smart, when a girl is looking back while she's driving and drinking the water and not touching the steering wheel. Good taste travels well. Maybe not the smartest. Consider this. Most people now say that kids nowadays don't have good work ethics. But when it comes to gaming, they have amazing work ethics. Like a lot of kids would wake up 3 a.m. in the morning behind their parents' back to go on their computers 
and level up a virtual character. And if you have played RPG games before, you know that a lot of times leveling up a character, RPG character is simply killing the same monsters over and over and over again. In the real world, we call that grunt work. So why does the little kid do that? It's because in his mind, he's not doing grunt work. He is getting his character to go from level 17 to 18. He can get, I don't know, plus 4 strength, plus 3 dexterity, and then he might be able to beat that boss that he couldn't beat. So if games can turn kids into workers with amazing work ethics, then I'm sure there's a lot of things to learn from games that can be applied to work. The last water we saw was a traveler. Looks like this water is a politician and it wants to filter out inequality because there's a lot of water brands and none of them are equal and this water wants to make all the water brands that they're equal Woohoo! so everyone will just be water gamification is also a something that is booming if you look at how social media was three years ago that's pretty much how gamification is like today um, so three years ago Everyone's like, hey, you know, social media might be something interesting, but it's not proven. There's a few conferences, and social media marketing means simply having a Twitter account and a Facebook profile. That's where we are at today. Gamification, a lot of people say, hey, that could be interesting. Ah, that could be interesting, but they're not, sure, they're not sure what to do with it yet. Some people think it's a fad. There's a few conferences, and... Um, most people think gamification is just adding badges, points, and leaderboards. So that's kind of beep. More importantly, gamification is the future of design. Hmm, I think my hair is a little bit too long. Hmm, much better. So this is just an introduction episode that basically covers a little bit about what is gamification, who I am, my qualifications, why does gamification matter, and yeah, that's pretty much about it. And we will cover lots of interesting, exciting content as the episodes grow. And hopefully I'll lose more weight too. Also, I want to do a hidden game within this entire series. Somewhere in the video, there's going to be a word that shoots out. And that's going to be that word of that episode. And there's going to be 50 words in total uh, in, the, in the 90 episodes. Maybe it's the first 50, maybe it's flattered, I don't know. But if you can collect all 50 words in the right order and you can send that to me, then you will get a bonus, a secret prize. Anyway, I hope you had a great time watching my videos and I will look forward to seeing you soon. Goodbye and may the gamification be upon you.